Hello, what's going on? Happy Mother's Day to everybody out there who's a mother. Bye, Visionary. Happy Mother's Day. I'm going to do some traditional... No. I'm going to do this best of one nonsense. Ranked War of the Spark draft. Because it's ranked, so... That seems important if I want to be the best there ever was. Um, to catch them is my real test. But also to train them. That's my cause. Um, I have a feeling I'll probably be traveling uh, across the land. And if you're traveling across you the land, I'm you might as well beast. search far and Where wide. You, you know mates? what I mean? Like, you're already traveling, so you might as well be searching too. Uh, I just took this Domri. I thought it was pretty obvious why I took it. It's a very good card. It's Planeswalker. Why is that? No, I don't need you to be chicken noising all up in here. Mm. <laughs> <coughs> all right. What are we taking here? Ashiok? I don't... I, I think Ashiok's a very strong card, but I've been like, uh, if you can get a couple of them in limited, I think it's very, very good. If you can only get one, you're kind of like, all right, I'll mill you for 20 cards, and then, uh, then that's it. Let's pretend this Domri is going to pay off for us, right? And we'll take the green card. All right, well, it's not looking great so far. Merfolk Skydiver is probably too good to pass, and we could potentially... Splash this Domri, or vice versa. To catch, <clears throat> oh, a little proliferate lady. Prolifer, pro, pro, late. Ah, forget it. Also, Lee Guard Mage, very, very good, very, very good. Oh, a Heartfire and a Chandra's <clears throat> Pyro Helix and a Courage in Crisis. Unfortunately, the two cards are kind of back from this pack, and I don't think they're going to be good ones. Hardfire is actually pretty good with Pollen by True. Once you, once you get the use out of this thing, you just throw it in the garbage can. However, let's say we're green. Uh, we're blue instead of red. Huh. Huh. No, Courage and Crisis is great. I actually think it's really good. <coughs> It literally does both halves of this. You just don't get the one one, which I think is fine. Yeah, I think Courage and Crisis is good. Uh, all right, don't care about you. Snare Spinner is probably fine because there's a lot of a, uh, you know, there's a lot of flyers in this format. It's a little meme. It's a little bit of a throwback there. To catch them is my real test. To train them is my cause. I will travel across the land. Thunder Drakes all day. I think it's probably Gateway Plaza just so we can splash this Domri. And it makes all future splashes a little bit easier as well. Mm, Iron Bully. Iron Bully has gone up in value a lot ever since... Uh, oh, Lazotep Plating. That card's great. Ever since I realized how much proliferate we're actually doing. Interplater Beacon lets us cast this Domri, which is super nice. It's basically a land that just says, cast your Domri. It makes red for our splash card. So. Okay. I don't... I'm just going to take the Iron Bully. I'm like... I'm pretty low on transmutation at this point. But I think it's... I think it's fine to have one of. Hmm. Uh, singing has never gotten me. Uh, uh, copyright stricken. Thank, thankfully. Oh, Kiora's Dam Breaker? I said Dam Breaker. Alright, well. That's that's something. Flux Channeler seems good. Domri's Ambush seems great, but I'm gonna go with the Flux Channeler or the Callus Dismissal. Probably Flux Channeler. Oh, look at that Bolus of Citadel. <coughs> Yeah, we can't. That's not. That's not realistic. Let's be real. Bloom Hulk. B -b -b Bloom Hulk. Yeah, that's great. I'll 
take that guy. Last step plating again, huh? I like Samet here. We have one four drop so far, and I think this is a good one. I like last step plating and New Horizons as well, Initiate. but you are not worthy. Also, Angrath is decent with our uh, Interplanar Beacon, but the problem is if we don't, like, if we don't hit Interplanar Beacon, we can't cast Angrath, right? That's pretty rough. It's still very good. Is it good enough? It might be good enough. I'm gonna take it and we're gonna see if we can build around. Like it also one new horizons lets us cast it as well. So I ain't I ain't terribly uh off put by that. Yeah, this pack's pretty rough. I'll just take steady aim, I guess. Interplanar beacon number dose, or a gateway plaza number dose. <clears throat> That's fascinating. Um Hmm. Interplanar Beacon, we're only splashing for uh, Angrath and one red off Domri, so Interplanar Beacon lets us cast both of those. So that's pretty good. We're probably just going to take that. Uh, I don't hate Ward Scale Crocodile. That's a resounding endorsement. I don't hate this card. This is just draw two. Uh, again, because we're, we're only splashing Planeswalkers specifically off Beacon, I don't think we're leaning towards any kind of red cards here. I'll just take the... How's our four slot looking? Pretty pretty weak. <clears throat> yeah, we'll just take the Nisses. I don't know if we're going to play it or not, but... Sahili's Silverwing is definitely an option, especially if we can start putting counters on it. It's just basically a poor man's Thunder Drake, right? New Horizons, definitely decent. I will take that. Oh, another New Horizons. I don't think we're going to be playing that one. Alright, three cards that I will likely not be playing. And another pack. Another pack. I do like rack. I like I like Tibble tier, especially with our New Horizons Gateway Plaza Interplanar Beacon. That's four ways to play a <clears throat> a Tibble. Centaur is all right. We do have four four drops already though. The problem with Nurture is that it only helps us cast Domri. It doesn't help us cast Angrath. So I don't really. I'd rather just take the Tibble because it it also triggers our Flux Channeler. It's good with all of our proliferate things. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Tybalt here. Oh, a little Jang Yangu. That actually helps us cast our other things. And hopefully this Merfolk Skyd ever comes back, but I will not hold my breath for that. Come yeah, on, that seems Mobile. like an easy pick. Time to have your day. Oh boy! T -t -t Tamiyo! <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty good. The rest going to the graveyard though? Jeez, that's that's where this pack is gas. Bloom Hulk, Rescuer Sphinx, or Tamiyo? Jeez. Jeez, and a Tamiyo's Epiphany. Is Tamiyo that good and limited? It's got to be decent, right? Just getting a card back. I really don't want to put four cards in my graveyard. It's actually not that good. <clears throat> I think I'd just rather have the Bloom Hulk in this deck. Or the Rescuer Sphinx, to be, to be quite honest. Yikes, this pack is actually the trickiest pack so far. Twelve cards. Uh, so... Four of which will come back, right? I mean, this is just a rare. I have 69 Mythic Rares. Uh, <coughs> 69 Mythic Rare, or a regular rare wild cards, and I also have four Tamios, so... The value is, is like 20 gems. I'm not super concerned with 20 gems. This will put me back in my draft, right? If I go draft? Okay, I read your draft. <clears throat> I think the Sphinx is just better. We're actually 
pretty light on blue. A four mana Eternal Witness that doesn't isn't actually a creature though. It's not that great. It does prevent us from discarding cards or sacrificing permanents though. This is actually the hardest pick so far. Sorry for taking so long, guys. Uh, it's one of these. It's one of these three. These four four drops. I mean, so okay, we use this to get back a strong card, right? So we're using this card to get back a strong card that we've already gotten rid of. But I'd rather just play a second strong card instead. I'm pretty sure it's either Bloom Hulk or Rescuer Sphinx. I think it's Res. I'm think I'm leaning towards Rescuer Sphinx here. <clears throat> just because it flies, so it gives us a nice little floaty boy. And we might be able to hit another Bloom Hulk at some point. Ooh, Eternal Skylord? Wow. This deck is looking amazing. And there's the other Bloom Hulk that we were hoping for. That's amazing. Alright, we, we're doing it. I do like a Domri here. I think it's actually the best card here, too. There's sure. no account. And by Domri, I mean Dovin. <laughs> Alright, this deck just got... Real bonkers. Instant or sorcery? I don't think we actually have that many. I'll just take the grizzly. <clears throat> eh, I'll take another courage, sure. Another dam breaker? Yeah, those guys are just huge. Teferi's thing. Crazy boy. Yeah, this deck looks great. I'm thrilled with it. 42 cards, we need two cuts. That doesn't seem very hard. 15 creatures, so I'd like to avoid cutting creatures. 3 red is really ambitious. I don't think that's happening. I might play a single red, but... <clears throat> Alright, so... I'll probably take out Transmutation here. Also, Angrath makes guys, so that's kind of like a creature. Yeah, I like Tybalt. I think Tybalt's great, but it also triggers all of our... It triggers our Flux Channeler. It's good with all our proliferate stuff. It makes creatures. Uh, I can cut Transmutation. I think that's fine. We did not see another Callous Dismissal. That's really sad. I could actually see playing 21 here. Or, uh, 41 here. So as far as actually being able to cast... <clears throat> hmm. So for Angrath, we have Interplanar Beacon, Interplanar Beacon, and New Horizons. So we have three ways to cast an Angrath. Actually, Jang Yangu is also very, very useful for that. So it's a 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15. So I'm just going to add 1 and 1. <coughs> yeah, this seems good. I'm going to just play it like this and we'll see what happens. This deck seems sweet at uh, uh, nothing else. If nothing else. At uh, nothing else. If nothing else. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. Um, <clears throat> Skydiver says okay. And then if we hit land, three drop land, then, you know, what's the problem? Boo wee. Burr, 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 burr. Yeah, Ob Ob's Cruelty is very good. Robert's Robert's Cruelty. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Well, we can now cast Angrath, which is super nice. Excuse 
Excuse me. Excuse me. I mean, this is a pretty good curve. We can go Angrath, make a guy, Bloom Hulk, cure as a damn breaker. Oh, I see. Well, that's surprisingly good. I am not going to be blocking it, so I guess we'll just pass it up here. Last year's Sunday Nintendo Video Game Lives show Google if you know, especially guess the guy who sang the original Pokemon song. That's, that's actually pretty awesome. Wow, this cat is like going the distance here. Good lord. <clears throat> yep. Oh, that's that's nice. I think we actually do just play this first. You've been analyzed and found a few things Wanting. can withstand my careful scrutiny. My careful scrutiny. Working on my second job. How's that going? How's that going? <clears throat> Here's a funny tidbit. Uh, Rob, Rob, well, I was at I was at F and M on Friday night with Rob, and Rob laughed, and I was like, "Wow, that's a really, that's a great laugh. That's like a Mark Hamill laugh," and he's like, "Mark, who's that? Who's Mark Hamill?" And I was like, you know who Mark Hamill is? And he's like, no, who's that? Who's Mark Who's Mark Hamilton? And uh, he didn't know who Mark Hamill is, and I was just like, I don't understand. How do you don't? How do you don't know who that is? And um, he just sent me a message, and it's Mark Hamill, and it says, Happy Mother's Day, Mark Hamilton. <laughs> and it's a picture. It's a it's a Mark Hamill gift. Stokes the Forge. <clears throat> Ramming speed is right. Wow, that's amazing. You did a thing. No attacks. Okay. Oh, Lazatep plating just to prevent me from dom from dovening. That's pretty funny. I was like, you know who Mark Hamill is? He played literal Luke Skywalker and he's done the Joker voice for 35,000 years? Like, I don't understand. Buddy, you need to get your life together. Because you are seriously letting us down here, buddy. This is aggressive. This is real aggressive. What's even happening right now? You're all going at... Wait, hold on. This guy is going where? At Dovin, okay, and these two are both going at at your boy. All right, I'm gonna jump here and I'll block here. Because <laughs> we want all these guys to live, or or this to live. Because if we start proliferating onto this, it's pretty it's pretty darn good. So we're gonna play this. I'm gonna play. We could play Pollen Bright. Put a counter on itself we could play sphinx and bounce this and then play pollen bright to proliferate on all the things that seems worse i'm just gonna play this damn break ah, dude, is that right we could play pollen break to put a counter on itself and then bloom hulk that might be better i think that is better actually we'll proliferate here no yes And then we're gonna Bloom Hulk. <clears throat> wow, he just dove in there. Wow, that's that's terrible. Submit four. Make a dude. You want it, fight for it. Uh, you have two floaty boys. You might want to use this. So we'll actually make this when guy. Pursuing creativity. No Defy attack. Convention. I feel like we this long game is is in the.
Um. <clears throat> okay, just this guy, huh? Yeah, I don't trust your shenanigans. I'll, I mean, I guess you're just going to pump with this guy. Sure. So they're going to kill the Blue Hulk anyway, and that's fine. Because <clears throat> next turn, this becomes a Blue Hulk. You got a 2 2 and a 1 1? Sure. Get in there with these guys. Mm. That's a good deal. And... I actually can just wait to, to use this. I don't have to use this now because it's better on board. But I will use this because if they have some way to get this guy out of here, it's just worse. I don't know. Don't seem to bother you. <clears throat> Yeah, our deck seems busted. I played three drafts yesterday and got one win. That seems rough. That seems no bueno, my dude. I'm in bronze? Oh, man. That's bad. That's bad news, bears. <coughs> well, I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. Each Pokemon to understand the mulligan inside. I'll keep this. This hand's real good. New horizons onto this guy. Do, 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 every day. Oh, that's pretty good. New horizons and a Bloom Hulk and a Bloom Hulk. That's hard to beat. Just because these guys are 4 4 for 4. They're, that's very big, guys. Oh, that's good, too. Oh, we should have. It doesn't matter, I guess. Because <clears throat> if we draw like Domre, I want to be able to be like red, red, but then we can just make red, green with the Interplanar Beacon. Interplanar Beacon lets us cast all of our Planeswalkers, so. Another beacon? <clears throat> Why did what's going on? Why is it I was like, is it it's not legendary, right? I don't wanna be What's going on here? You see what's going down on the fifteenth? No, what's on the fifteenth? What's going on here? Is my internet dying? <clears throat> Put it on yourself. <clears throat> Vintage cube on the 15th? That doesn't seem correct. Wait, what? Vintage cube starts this week? Are you serious? I feel like there was just a cube literally last month. Oh my god, the Legacy Cube ended on April 25th? Vintage Cube starts on May 15th? What? What? <clears throat> That's insane. Because usually they don't want to... Usually they don't... Um... Usually they don't put cubes up when the format's new, right? Like, they let a format go for a few months. So, like, uh, they'll let War of the Spark go for two months, and then the last month, or, the, you know, out of the three months before the new set comes out, they'll they'll put the cube up because it's, people are getting tired of the new, the, the new format, which is no longer new at that point. Man, if we had one more land there, we could have lots of type plating in response, which would have actually gotten us another 2-2 two -two and a 3-3. Three -three. Yeah, no blocks. I'll take two. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. 
Wow, that's insane. <laughs> All right, you're at five. I have a bunch of fat daddies here. Ooh, an article, eh? Post this is posted on April 19th, though. What is that? to blockers. I'm never going to block this creature. They're a red-white deck with four cards in their hand. I'm never blocking this first striking 2-1. Fat Daddy was my nickname. Fat Daddy was never your nickname, ever. <clears throat> Each creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. So this wouldn't do anything, right? Because the creature is dealing damage to itself. With her souls really your opponent's control. Yep, that's sad. I was fat daddy and everyone called me that. I want proof. I want to see it. Oh, that's real good. Okay, so it is a four, it is a five one. Or five five, I guess. Sure. You got it. <coughs> so you block here, you take five. That's a good one. That is a good one. That's also pretty good. We gain two? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> so they can block one guy. So that's game, right? Alright. Angrath is real crazy. Also, this new lobby for the for Magic Online looks insane. The fact that they're putting this effort into Magic Online is really great. I'm really I'm really thrilled about it actually. Uh, it's it's literally in the article that was just linked. This hand seems fine. Can't play Pollen Bright Druid, but we can play a Tibbult. Tibbly. Tibbles. I, I don't think you need a sign that Modern and Legacy are going to be a while on Arena. I think it's pretty obvious. If you just have... All you have to do is look at the number of cards in those formats and figure out how long it takes to program... 7,000 cards on Arena. Like, it's, it's, that's, you don't need a, you don't need a sign for that. <laughs> that's just given. <clears throat> oh, well, that's sad. I guess we can cast Jengu, but we don't have any. The more. Let me check out modern legal formats. Okay. Um, so sets that are that are modern legal, I'm gonna say Amonkhet. <clears throat> I think Aether Revolt and Kaladesh are already programmed on Arena, I think. 
So I'll, I'll be generous and we'll say that's that's the case, right? <clears throat> yeah, we're just gonna block and then shoot this guy. So then you have Elder Moon, Shadows of Renistrad, Oath of the Gatewatch, Battle for Zendikar, Magic Origins, Dragons of Tarki, Fate Before It's Cons of Tarki, or Magic 2015, Journey to Nyx, Born of the Gods, Theros, Magic 2014, Dragon's Maze, Gate Crash, Return to Ravnica, Magic 2013, Avacyn Restored, Dark, Dark Ascension, Innistrad, Magic 2012, New Phyrexia, Mirrored and Besieged, Scars of Rune and Magic 2011, Rise of the Eldrazi, Worldwake, Zendikar, Magic 2010, Alara Reborn, Conflux, Shards of Alara, Eventide, Shadowmoor, Morningtide, Lorewind, 10th Edition, Future Sight, Planar Chaos, Time Spiral, Cold Snap, Dissension, Guild Pack, Ravnica, 9th Edition, Saviors, Betrayers, Champions, 5th on, Darksteel, Mirrodin, and 8th Edition. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, fascinating. sets just to make modern legal uh on I I mean that's a that's a ridiculous amount, right? So we can play next turn. We can play Courage and Crisis or Jang Jang McYangus. If we draw a land, we can go Jang Yangu and Pawn Bridge Rude, which would be great. Uh, I do want to make sure this guy. If we double block, they just kill both. So that seems bad. <coughs> uh, I don't think that's fair. I think they've always been putting effort into it. I think it's just it's more noticeable now because you have another client that it's also competing with. So whenever you see any amount of effort on Magic Online, it seems like, oh, wow, look at the effort they're putting in still. But, uh, you know, as someone who's played Magic Online for the past 12 years, uh, it's very obvious that they've been putting in effort for a while now. Um, could put a counter on this. We can just play this guy. Could play Pollen Bright Druid, then Courage and Crisis. That actually seems pretty good. This guy's going to make this a 4-4, though, so I kind of want to just have more bodies on the board. Put the bodies on the board. Put the bodies on the board. Put the bodies on the board. Thank you. Cassius, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Happy six months. Excited to be able to finally catch a stream. I've been busy graduating. Oh, man, too bad. I, I, I'm so sorry for your... For your graduation problems. No, seriously though, that's awesome, dude. Congrats. If you want it, fight for it. Um Oh, I can't do that, can I? Because that's not how this Oh, we were gonna play this guy. No, we were gonna play the other guy, but whatever, this is still fine. There is much to learn from symbiotic relationships. Um yeah, we want to counter on this so we can actually block here. They're probably going to tap one of these. Probably tap this down and then tap with both, I guess. No attacks. I guess that's still fine. Also, Cassius, congrats on the graduation, buddy. I think I knew that, but, you know. Okay, so this guy, all right, what's going on here? You're going at Angrath, you're going at Jangangu, and you're going at Jangangu. So I can block here. That doesn't save Jangangu. How did this get, how did this get tapped? Did they tap at EOT? That might have, no, they probably tapped at EOT. Um, if we kill he like they're gonna they're gonna kill this anyway. I, am I just getting rid of the bigger creature? I don't know. Probably just gonna kill this. Of course you have that. Wow, graduating and have a phone interview on Wednesday. Killing it. Let's call a low effort then. There's so many unfinished parts of the clients and the client. Yeah, I mean I don't think it's. I, 
See, I just this is where I disagree with you. I don't think the client's been unstable and buggy for a long time. I really think it's been. I've I've made finished. Magic content on MTG Arena for um, ten years now, and I can count the number of instances where it was like unplayable or like I had a miserable buggy experience on probably two hands. Which sounds like a lot, but it's not really because it's a it's that's a long time. It's just I think it's overstated. I think the the bugginess. And the unstable instability of Magic Online is completely overstated. Like it's a program that I'm I'm able to to play regularly. So if they tap this guy down, they attack with both. We're gonna lose this anyway, so we might as well just make a guy here. I'm gonna say no attacks. It's ugly, sure. I, it doesn't. That doesn't. I don't, I don't give a shit about that. Who cares? <laughs> I mean, it's maybe, it's probably more than one issue per year. It's probably two issues per year. I mean, realistically, like we're talking about issues where like I'm making a video and I can no longer make it or, you know, I can no longer do this. You know, it's just, I mean, there's like, why would you ever use the, the mana that, come on. You know, it's just a matter of like, it's just a matter of like, have I, was I unable to, uh, to play the game? No, not at all. That's just silly, you know. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Be careful. I'm all right, Nada. So they can tap this guy down, which is the biggest dude. I'm just definitely killing this for sure. It's nothing personal. That's what Domri Raid says. They can just tap guy, tap a guy next turn, and then attack the Domri. That seems fine. Alright. <clears throat> uh, let's put a counter on you. Proliferate on all the dudes. We got an 8 8 here. That's pretty good, right? Okay, so everybody's coming at. Eh, it's an easy block. Put me back after I've licked my wounds. You'll see. Seems good. <clears throat> How many planeswalkers have they had to deal with? Three, th four this game. That's pretty nuts, though. I mean, do they want to trade here? I guess we'll find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, we're going to attack here. Oh, we are double blocking. Deal. Eh, just play a 3-2 flyer. That's fine. If we bounce this, like, they're just going to tap this, then we're not going to have any power on board. We'll have two, two big threats on board. Yep, that's a good one too. I wish we had a way to put a counter on this. See, see, Jesse, I think we're just going to disagree here, unfortunately. Um, like, you say they're, like the, the game worked, but it almost never changed for the better. I disagree with you completely. Like, it, as someone who's, like, played Magic Online day in, day out, at literally, literally every single day for years because of work, um, I've noticed the changes. Like, they change the way, like, modal spells work. They change the way, uh, you know, there, there's just a bunch of little cosmetic changes and little functionality changes. Um... I mean, they changed. The, they've been updating Commander for for years. Like they've been making little changes here and there, consistently. I mean, I, I think it's weekly where I'll log on to Magic Online and I'll find something. I'll be like, oh wow, look, they changed this kind of tiny little thing. Um, I just think it's like, I I don't know. Like I think I think if you're 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 not looking hard enough, if you don't see those changes, or you just don't you just don't notice them. 
Which I think is also good, cause, because, I mean, if you don't notice something, then it's just, it's, you know, it's non-intrusive, you know? I don't know. But I'm just, I'm, I mean, I'm going to defend Magic Online, because I, I've, I've fought against Magic Online for a long time, and I was really opposed to it, and I thought it was really garbage. But, I mean, I've seen the effort in the past, like, several years, and I think it's gone up. MTO looks like it's from 2001. Who cares, though? What does that matter? That's the second time you've said, like, against that it's about. That's that's the second time you've made a look based comment, but it's like, who cares? What does it matter? I'm playing Magic Online. I have been able to play Magic Online day in, day out, on Magic the Gathering Online, and 99.99% .99 of the time, I have a fine experience with it. <clears throat> um. An auction for trading? But they have the trade room. What do you mean an auction for trading? So, yeah, but like, okay, so, but the thing is like, you're, you're naming a bunch of things, and that's fine. But like, just because, that's like, this is the literal, this is, you're just doing the internet right now. The internet is like, they could have done all of these things that I specifically wanted. Okay, sure, but there's, they did a bunch of things that other people wanted as well. You know what I mean? Like... Aesthetics are valid criticisms, but like that's okay. A, that's the only thing you've said so far, and B, it's like it still doesn't it doesn't look terrible. Who cares? Like it's I'm able to play Magic. I'm able to see the card art. I'm able to read the cards. The resolution is fine. Like it's just kind of a silly complaint. That's all. Well, we can play a two drop and a three drop, and then we play Thundering Ceratok next turn. This guy could be juicy. I don't want to play Smoot. Shut up and take my money. Alright, we'll just play this. One day in, day out bug. That's what it is, yeah. That's that's when I was able to play Magic Online. Day in, day out. Off work on way to quick out. Cut kitty and enjoy enjoy your cookout, buddy. Oh, that's cool. Force landing. How oh, nice. Oh, what a little rack of share. This guy, this guy having trample makes it rough, but whatever. We got, we got this guy. What problem is? We got one counter here. That's good. That's good for us. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, well. I can play Jeng Yangu. Tap this guy. Put a counter on here and play like Courage and Crisis. Or like play. Mowu's <laughs> bark is much share in my strength. Play nice. No attacks. All right. Yeah, the gameplay and the game itself work 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 as they should, and I think that's the most important part, to be honest with you. It's the first of the month. Oh, wake up, wake up, oh, wake up! It's the first of the month. Let's put a counter on you. You can kill this guy. Teamwork is strength. Play this guy. My friend is here. Damn breaky boy. Submit five counters. Cause that's how we do it. They can just block with five, six, and three, three on here, right? Which seems bad. Do we have enough for courage? We can tap this guy. Oh, we'd have to tap itself. That seems rough. This guy can attack for two. They just block with pollen bright and dam breaker. They're going to kill one of our guys, presumably, but maybe not. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I do love the MTG timer situation better. Uh, I think being able to utilize your own timer is super great. No attacks. Would I recommend it to a friend? Yeah, I've recommended it to Magic Online to tons of people. Why wouldn't you, though? Like, I don't understand. I don't think the client's that bad. Like, it's cumbersome, right? It's not the most polished client, but it's not bad. Like, I don't think that makes it bad. I just think that makes it whatever. Is this guy unblockable? This guy unblockable? What happened here? This guy got the counter. They just killed both of our planes. Our Seems good. <clears throat> it's the first of the month. We'll wake up. Let's play this. Let's play Samet. But uh, I guess we'll just use... What are we doing? Six, twelve, six, eleven, or well, twelve, twelve total. So I guess we can pump you so that we eat one of those guys at the very least. Press the attack. We don't want that. Um, five, six. I guess we can. Oh, we should have put the counter on the five, six. That would've been so much better than that stupid little baby, baby, baby guy. Um, but I think we're actually still wanting to trade. Maybe not. I'll eat one of the big guys first. That's fine. I wasn't planning on blocking any of your guys with more than one creature anyway, so. <coughs> Ooh, Lazotep plating. a lot of things we can do here. Who are we targeting? Probably this guy, because you just want to be able to get through with it. Yep, definitely keeping that on top. Uh, they have 6-6, six, six, so we're probably just attacking with these guys. And then they double block, but we get to eat a guy, so that's actually okay. But we have a Cure's Dambreaker coming down next turn, so... That's good to know. Uh, this is... Why would I ever put the three... Why would you ever do that? One down. Yeah, that's fine. Perfect! <laughs> no, that was very good. I mean, they get to kill Samet, but I think we're still okay. Thank you. I have witnessed enough destruction already. Get him. Oh, 679, so close. Again, put this guy in the front. I feel like that worked out well for us. We still have a 5-6, five, a 5-5, five, five, and a 4-4. Four, four. I think we're doing well. Well, don't forget about the 4-4 four, four devil token. That's also pretty relevant, right? You got it. <laughs> sure. Seems good. So we're dealing five. Uh, I'm going to kill the 3-3 three, three and the 2-2 two, two here. Uh, 
So you go to one here, and you're basically dead to target. Yeah. Oh, the Lazatip's plating this turn. Oh, so I have to like choose myself. That's awkward. <clears throat> Wait, why didn't? Oh, because again they have. Man, that's hilarious. Well, that last just played and really neutered my turn, but I guess it doesn't matter. We won the game. So. Are we 4 0 with this deck? Wow. You'll have to discard this turd. Oh no. Thank you. Cheese Wisp, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Happy Mother's Day. To you. What's up, Legally T? Legal it? Oh wow, they're going deep on the Strixes. Alright, we're looking for an interplanar beacon here. Um, I kind of want to just do this, right? I mean, it's not great though. We could also just activate and find, uh, try to find a land. We have two lands in hand, so I'm not really super concerned with pitching a land here. Oh, Gateway Plaza. That's that's better. That's a good start. Uh, it's it's one down. Can you counter this? It's not great. Let's see what it is. A swamp, huh? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna block. And we're not uh, gonna activate. So, you're the mother of Mike's. <laughs> Uh, I think you mean you are. You apostrophe re. Come on. Come on, Haji boy. My man. Spark harvest killing my 2 3. Well. That is quite aggressive, my friend. I mean, these birds are doing their job, no, no mistaking it, but... You are the mother of Mike's bug. <laughs> okay. Well done. Well done, sir. Well done. Uh, I'll block, because even if you want to, like, spell and trade, I'm fine with it. It's whatever. I think they also forgot that this guy was flying. Which is fine with me. Oh, alright. You're just gonna... Stressful weekend. I just need to shut up. I just need to shut up and take my. You need, you need to shut up and take my. Wait, how does this work? There's a lot going on here. We can go with these two and this. No, we can't. We can go with this and Smoot. That seems okay. I kind of just want to Merfolk Skydiver onto this Eternal Skylord and then play Courage and Crisis. But that'll, that's all. Oh, actually, that's pretty good, right? Or we can wait to play Gateway Plaza and then just play like one of these guys. I guess it's just Samoth that's gonna get the bonus. So we're just gonna play this here. Can I proliferate next? Let's get in there. Do your job. Do your job.
Oh, you got the little now it's just a ground 3-3. Three, three. All right, I guess I'll take two in the air. Just block here. I just take five here, right? And then we get to go sam it and like do them dirty. I mean, this is 10 damage. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We can put them to two, but I'm worried about the crackback, so. Deceit will never be. Oh, interplanar beacon. I'm gonna keep that. It does let us play our boy next turn. This is just a chump block, right? Two Karns. Let's go Beacon. And this gentleman. Man, gain a life too? That's OP, man. Yeah. If you want it, fight for it. My blades will always strike true. My blades will always strike true. Mycon, Mykegal, and Mykerion. Yeah, that's probably the more accurate names. Uh, who are you blocking? The 5-5? Five five? So I guess it doesn't matter the order. But that also doesn't kill them? Oh, because they have Menace. Oh, we should have just slammed with this guy, too. I, I literally forgot about the Menace. So they, I could have just won the game. Presumably. But I think we already won the game anyway. This deck seems good. I'm no expert. I'm no Magic the Gathering expert. But this deck seems pretty okay. Oh, a Reaver Ambush. Exile a creature with power three or less. <clears throat> Sand is slow, but it's got a Dovin. I'll keep it. I ain't got no... I ain't got no qualms. We're on the draw on the play. Reavers? I don't, you know, I don't know. Oh, Karanchi boy. Whatever your plan, there's the king looking to elevate the fail. Perhaps a pair of stilts. Uh oh. Come on, four drop. Bloom Hulk. Bloom Tender. Bloom Chicken Tender. Hmm. Well, do we think they have a 4 4 or a life gain spell? Probably more likely to have a 4 4. Or so. Study in contrasts. Or four I'm power creature. And you're, well, not. And you're, well, not. You're, well, not. How is the draft format? I've been enjoying it. Fully for you. Oh, that's sad. Well, that's pretty good. 
Um, so I guess we attack and we have to either... They, eat, they lose two guys, I guess. Yep, all right. I thought the was yeah I thought I I just assumed the movie was season two. Oh, a snare spinner. These creatures suck. Oh, you can proliferate onto your one dude. All right, seems fine. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. It's from Ghostbusters, guys. Quit messing around like you don't know. Um, what happens if we add uh, one, two, three, four, five, six? Oh, we actually can we can play this and proliferate this turn. Oh, that's beautiful. That's just gorgeous. So this could be a seven, a six. So it's gonna it's gonna eat at least two guys if we do that. So. This is nice. Oh, okay, sure. Oh wow, this is this is this is really good blocks. Okay, okay, this guy's definitely dead. Okay, we're gonna deal six. So we're gonna take out the bully and the Ajani and the Crunchy. Nope, you're going to the back. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That seemed fine. We don't have any more guys to proliferate onto though. It's real sad. I actually don't want to drop a Cure's Dam Breaker. I'd rather just play both of these or this and proliferate, make a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, you can't play best of three draft. You, you can play best of one draft with gold in Arena. Kinda wanna just keep this up. Because if we draw like, um, Courage and Crisis, it's, it's insanely good here. Three and one, I think we just take four. I'm fine with that. They have four cards in hand? Good lord, what are their cards? Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're just gonna drop this guy, right? I did a Japanese spark draft, then saw end game, then did a normal draft. Man, the old that's the old draft sandwich. No? Keep that guy back? Okay. One, two, three, four. I mean, I feel like we definitely activate this. Oh, Tybalt is interesting. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Crocodile's pretty much garbage here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have, if we get eight mana, we can play Tybalt and pump him. Oh, good. You're drawing a planes. Is that good? I don't know. You might actually need a fifth mana pretty pretty desperately, so. 
Here comes 4-5 that gives all the tramples. Oh, just a want just a just a casual wanderer strike. Gotcha. Yep, that's pretty good. You're tapped out. That seems like an easy block. You can only kill one, so. Sure. Oh, double planeswalker we can play here. You look like a worthy opponent. We'll do this together. You don't look scared. I can fix this. Oh, they're so cute. One, two, three, four, five. No attacks. End turn. We can proliferate here, which is nice. No, we can't. We're one shy, right? One, two. One, two, three. Oh, we can't do that. Yep, that's fine. Sure. Why did I think all of our creatures could do that? Eh, it doesn't matter. I mean, it matters. It's pretty rough. They just happen to have double Wanderer Strike in hand, so that's cool. You can have that. Our journey continues. my face. You got it. Do, 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 do. That's a late cross wrangler. That's a late video. Wow, of course you tap the one man that lets us play that. You stupid idiot client. That's unbelievable. <sighs> That's extremely frustrating. Why? Why would you tap that? That's so dumb. What's up, Sammy? That's so dumb, dude. It's the one time I'm not careful because this is the one card in our deck we can't cast. Yep. They can block three dudes. Yeah, no blocks there. <laughs> How adorable. I mean, you probably should have even just discarded this to find another card. But... See what happens, I guess. Let them figure it out. Uh, 
Oh, yep. So I think we just die, right? I think we're dead now. I think we just killed ourselves. <laughs> sure. Yeah, these two alone are going to kill us. That's sad. That's sad. We can go 2-2 two, two still. We can go 2-1 still, I guess. If we go 2-2, two, two, then we're not... I can't go 2-2. Two, two. We can go 2-1 or 1-2. Or 0-2. Oh, Yeah, if we just attack with the flyer, it's probably significantly better because it has menace. So we actually win on the next turn. I just didn't do the math, and uh, I was a little tilted from the stupid Angrath play, so. Tyrant's Scorn. No. What's up, Scarlet Harlot? Oh, a little, uh, little gleaming over. So we can play this guy, proliferate onto this. Unfortunately, the proliferate takes place at the exact wrong time. Uh, Smith Zero. It's nice to meet you. Be your best self. Let me know if you find any cool new plants. Okay. What's up, Robin Messack? <laughs> the weird name. Hope you're hope you're having some good good experiences there. Both, huh? Okay, I'll block here. Okay, you got it. That's so great. I'm so proud of you. So good. You did very good. Don't let anyone tell you differently. I will help you through this. Oh, they didn't play their two drop. That's interesting. All right. He's going to counter my iron bully. Sure. <laughs> Who cares? Just sometimes magic heart you you ain't wrong. Alright, well I guess we're gonna play this guy. And then you got a cool Kefnet, so that's nice. Cancel that. No attacks. Alright, seems good. The history of this world is one of conquest. You have fresh blood. 
<laughs> Knowledge is not without pride. Sure, I'll go to five. Not to think too hard. Man, this is obnoxious. Yep. Can't beat Kefnet Obnixilis, I guess. Wow, this is this has gone well. Okay, Sammy. <laughs> Take it easy, buddy. Alright, I like it. No blocks. I guess we play this, and then this, and then this. That seems like a lot of work, though. Draw a Domri so we can go Domri kill this guy. Well, I guess they die. They trade. That seems sad. Do I want to just slam into Kazmina? Probably, right? Oh, they didn't do anything. That's fascinating. Let's make sure we're tapping the right mana here. Okay. I guess I like this is the only thing I'm gonna be able to do. This guy's getting pretty big. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Good times, good times. The old 5 0 and uh. 5-3. Good times.
And that's it. Alright, I'll open these five packs, I guess. Ooh, two wild cards thus far. Not too shabby. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Three wild cards? That's gas. Thank you guys for watching. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. You can also check out mandatraders.com. Uh, you'll find a sweet deal in the in the description. You'll get twenty percent off your first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code. So please use those below if you're interested. You can get uh, Magic Online and Physical Paper Card subscriptions. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get fifteen percent off along with free shipping and free returns on those orders. So definitely check that out as well. You can also check out CoolStuffInc.com. I had an article go up this week, so definitely, if you guys are watching, definitely go check out the article itself. It is about Orzov Angels and Standard, and leave a comment in the actual article, because it definitely helps me out. And if you're getting anything, you can use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.